The Fellowship of the Ring is the first volume of J.R.R. Tolkien's epic fantasy trilogy, The Lord of the Rings. It begins in the peaceful setting of the Shire, a region primarily inhabited by hobbits, small, human-like creatures famous for their love of comfort and food. Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit who once went on an adventurous quest, is throwing a magnificent birthday party for himself and his nephew, Frodo Baggins, as they share the same birth date. At the party, Bilbo mysteriously disappears using a magical ring he found on his earlier adventure, leaving all his possessions, including the ring, to Frodo. Gandalf the Grey, an itinerant wizard and old friend of Bilbo, soon reveals to Frodo that the ring is no ordinary piece of jewelry. It is the One Ring, created by the Dark Lord Sauron, to rule over the other rings of power and control the inhabitants of Middle-earth. Sauron is now gathering strength and seeking the ring to consolidate his power and cover all the lands in darkness. Gandalf advises Frodo that the ring must be destroyed to ensure the safety of Middle-earth. The only way to achieve this is to cast it into the fires of Mount Doom, where it was originally forged in Sauron's realm of Mordor. Frodo reluctantly accepts the responsibility to take the ring away from the Shire, accompanied by his loyal gardener and friend, Samwise Gamgee. Along the way, they are joined by two other hobbits, Mary Brandybuck and Pippin Took. Pursued by the Ringwraiths, servants of Sauron, they travel through numerous dangers and challenges. At the behest of Gandalf, they seek refuge in the elvish enclave of Rivendell. Here a council is held, and it is decided that the ring must be taken to Mordor to be destroyed. The responsibility of this perilous task falls upon Frodo. A fellowship is formed to aid Frodo in his quest, consisting of nine members. Frodo himself, Sam, Merry, Pippin, Gandalf, Aragorn, a ranger of the north and the rightful heir to the throne of Gondor, Boromir, a nobleman of Gondor, Legolas, an elven prince of Mirkwood, and Gimli, a dwarf from the Lonely Mountain. This diverse group represents the free races of men, elves, dwarves, and hobbits, unified against the threat of Sauron. The Fellowship departs from Rivendell and makes their way south. They are forced to journey through the dark, underground mines of Moria after their attempts to cross the mountain Caradras are thwarted by treacherous weather and the power of Saruman, a once great wizard who has aligned himself with Sauron. In the mines, they are confronted by orcs and a fearsome Balrog, a creature of ancient evil. Gandalf confronts the Balrog, allowing the others to escape, but in the process he falls into the abyss, apparently to his death. The Fellowship, mourning Gandalf's loss, emerge into the elven realm of Lothlorien, where they are sheltered and counseled by the Lady Galadriel and Lord Celeborn. Galadriel, possessing one of the three elven rings of power, offers encouragement and gifts to aid the members of the Fellowship in their journey. Frodo, in turn, offers her the One Ring, knowing the power it contains could defeat Sauron. However, Galadriel resists the temptation, acknowledging that the Ring would corrupt her as well. The Fellowship is then borne along the great river Anduin, on elven boats given to them in Lothlorien. As the Fellowship heads down the river, internal tensions grow, particularly around Boromir, who is increasingly drawn to the power of the Ring and its potential to save his city, Gondor, from Sauron's forces. Their path leading to Mordor takes them past the falls of Rauros, and they must choose between two routes. One leads through the realm of Gondor, and the other through the treacherous path of the Dead Marshes directly into Mordor. At Amon Hen, near the falls of Rauros, the indecision leads to contention. Boromir succumbs to the ring's temptation and attempts to take it from Frodo. Distraught, Frodo puts on the ring to escape and decides that the only course of action is to leave the Fellowship and continue the quest to Mount Doom alone. Unbeknownst to him, Sam figures out Frodo's intent and insists on accompanying him. Together, the two hobbits quietly slip away from the group, setting off toward Mordor on their own. The remaining members of the Fellowship are attacked by Urukai, a breed of orcs from Saruman's army. During this ambush, Boromir is mortally wounded while bravely defending Merry and Pippin, who are captured by the orcs. Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli survive and face a difficult choice. Follow Frodo and Sam into Mordor, attempt to rescue Merry and Pippin from the clutches of the uruk -hai, or hasten to Gondor to aid in its defense against Sauron's imminent assault. 
The volume ends with the fellowship broken as Frodo and Sam journey into the unknown dangers of Mordor, while Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli choose to pursue the orcs who have taken Merry and Pippin, hoping to rescue their friends, and perhaps, against all odds, to keep alive the mission to defeat the dark power threatening to engulf the world. The story's continuation and conclusion are left to the following volumes, The Two Towers and The Return of the King. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.